Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie McCoy. This is going to be a very short and sweet video exploring the topic. Are we going to see the death of copyright and IP due to generative AI? Welcome to the rabbit hole. So the impact of generative AI on intellectual property law, specifically copyright, is very interesting to me. Copyright law is actually a pretty integral part of our society when it comes to intellectual property and legal rights being granted to the creators of original work to be able to control and profit from that work. AI has changed everything for content creators, and I mean everything. Let me open your eyes as to what I mean by that. By 2026, experts predict that as much as 90% of all the content we read, watch, see, will be synthetically generated. The parameters inside these large language models, LLMs, like GPT-4, 5, ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, and tools built on top of those, seeing the growth of GPT and parameters alone is insane. So these models pull from existing data. GPT-4 was 40% bigger than its predecessor, GPT-3. GPT-5 will be released this 2024, and it's going to take GPT from 1.5 to 1.7 trillion parameters up to 2 to 5 trillion. This is trillions of pieces of data that LMs can pull from to generate content. Now, there have been authors, artists, even programmers and data engineers that have tried to combat this. In July of 2023, Sarah Silverman, among other authors, actually sued OpenAI and Meta, and they sued because of how the models were scraping data. They claimed that these models were scraping their original content, thereby infringing on their rights. Another lawsuit from a programmer named Matthew Butterick claimed that data scraping by Microsoft, GitHub, and OpenAI was no better than software piracy. A few months later, after these lawsuits came to be, in August of 2023, a U.S. District Judge ruled that AI-generated art cannot be copyrighted, and thus all instances of trying to sue OpenAI, Meta, Google, GitHub, you name it, over this problem that it was scraping their original work is entirely moot because you cannot copyright AI-generated work anyway. And so the cases were completely thrown out of court. I think looking at this from all angles that copyright will actually be dead in the water because the idea of copyright is actually old and antiquated and it doesn't even match the world we're headed into with AGI and AI generating 90% of the content we're gonna see, read, watch, etc. I know a lot of you in the comments think that I am AI and I'm not real. I am, I'm flesh and blood, sorry to disappoint. That is actually a compliment, but envision this. In a world where AI can churn content out around the clock, especially the world we're headed into with highly personalized AI, AI that knows you better than you know yourself, we are going to be able to see, read, and interact with content that is better than what a human could produce. And there just isn't going to be a lot of sense in copywriting anything anymore in the old sense of what copyright is, which is protecting a humanly produced work. I asked our founder at Continent Scale about this. I'm the president and partner in this company. Justin McGill is the founder. He was the first human to invent undetectable AI content which was the breakthrough that replaced a lot of what I was doing, which was writing content that was super human-like. So here comes Justin with a unique stack of multiple LLMs, and he was the first one to crack the code to get those LLMs to output content that mimicked a human and bypassed AI detectors. I asked Justin this question, what do you think about copyright? You're someone that built the AI that's generating 50 million words per month. And he said, if it's AI generated, why would you worry about the copyright? Does copyright matter? And he said something that actually echoed what I've heard from Ray Kurzweil. Ultimately, copyright matters if you invented something. It's not gonna really matter to content generation. For example, Disney's Mickey Mouse. That is a timeless invention that has appeared in so many movies, books, merchandise. It's unforgettable, but Will the next iteration of Mickey Mouse come from human artists at DreamWorks or AGI producing infinitely better animation than a human ever could? So even the things that are copyrighted today could be iterated on by AI in better ways than a human ever could. If you're a content publisher, the main thing you should be focusing on is this. Create value for your audience and use AI to give your audience better information, not just more information. I can't tell you how tired I am from all the AI generated faceless videos out there 
that repeat the word shocking in their title a shockingly high amount of times. If I read the word shocking again, I will be too shocked to even give a reaction that says shocked. And so unfortunately, a lot of publishers are just publishing same old, same old because AI made them a lot quicker and faster at getting content out. That's a good thing, but only if your content is still meeting the bar of good. So supplying our audiences with better information, not just more information, is what we as publishers should be caring about. But I do think that the whole question of copyright, intellectual property, and how that will play out in a world where AI generates the majority of content, it's going to be dead and it's going to have to evolve. We're going to have to see a new definition for copyright, if not a whole new concept, when much of the world we know is infused by AI generated work. That's all I have for this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Julia McCoy, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. What do you think will happen for authors and copyright in this new world of AI? And as for the big question, well, how will we make money if we can't copyright our work? There are so many ways we can still prosper and benefit in this new world where AI does all the stuff we didn't want to do anyway. So for more on those thoughts, you better subscribe. This is a rabbit hole and we're going to be exploring every part of this abyss. I'll see you in the next video.